Yay. All right, <laughs> loving it. This guy dressed up. Guys, we are truly, truly honored that you are giving us your time. We're going to present to you the life transforming power of. What, what is, is, is cringe? cringe? <laughs> A study of the human psyche. Yeah. All right. We've all cringed. We've all cringed. I'm not cringe anymore. <laughs> Why are we experts on cringe? We'll tell you right now with some real stories from our actual lives. I once uh, serenaded a girl I had a crush on uh, with uh, several Neo songs. <laughs> yes. I unironically did Kesha lip syncs on YouTube. <laughs> I sometimes used to uh, look at those TikTok filters, the ones where you turn into a, a, wolf? a wolf or yeah. something, and I, I felt a rush. <laughs> you can't help but feel powerful, but others can't help but cringe. That's right. right. <laughs> Understanding your brain, AKA your cringe factory. It starts here and it, it shoots up to here. It, it goes all the way down. It's kind of like an Iron Man suit. Yes, an you Iron know? Man it's suit like, ching, 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 ching. <laughs> But you're feeling so bad. Yeah. <laughs> Continue. 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 <laughs> So yeah, just to clarify. That's that's the cringe node. <laughs> <laughs> Next slide, please. All right, <clears throat> we're gonna go through a history of cringe. Yes. Okay, the five most significant years in the evolution of cringe. What made them what made them so important? Yes, that's right. Starting with 1542. Mm -hmm. uh, Sir uh, Roberto Fernandez. Uh, he uh, did a self-portrait of his entire body, only to find out that, um, you know, his body was cringe. Uh, we're not sure why his body was cringe. Scientists are still baffled. But in this process, Roberto Fernandez was the first scientist slash artist to first talk about cringe. It's the, the, the term uh, cringe was coined by him in the year 1542. What was his name again? Roberto Fernandez, a famous Italian name. <laughs> <laughs> then we jump forward to 1866. Courtney, you know this year Wars very well. Wars were happening. That's right. Like the great battle of Bumpus Hill. <laughs> Bumpus Hill. The tree line was much higher than anticipated and they got counter ambushed and General Grant, for the first time in his life, went like this. Oh. Yeah, it was cringe. Finally, 2001. <laughs> It was March of 2001. <laughs> and that was the year that Courtney and I began our research. So that's why that's important. That's all we got to talk about. <laughs> that we had both experienced something so cringeworthy that we decided at that moment we needed to take it upon ourselves. Yeah. And that was... Well... I mean, it looked a little something like this. So, uh... <laughs> uh <laughs> it looked like that. Yeah, that's, that is that roughly what happened. That was a perfect what happened. It was an uncomfortable... <laughs> it was, it was tough. Different pages. And I don't cringe when I think about it anymore. I don't, I don't cringe. So, uh, Courtney? That's us. That is us. <laughs> That was shortly after was us. this uh, <clears throat> exchange. Anything that happened in there was purely for, for science. science and research. You know, I was like, let me, I'll come back yeah, and I had and I research said, no, that I. This is an excellent hypothesis. Yes, exactly. And I said, we need to stop working on our anti anthrax and we need to start working on cringe. Anti cringe. <laughs> anti cringe. Anti cringe. Uh, other things that are cringe and why? I mean, we've all we've all seen an adorable yeah. old woman experiencing technology for the first time. <laughs> it's rough. It's, it's rough. pretty rough. It's very Especially cringe. Especially when you're trying to FaceTime her while this is happening, and it's just pointed at the ceiling, mm. and she's like, I don't see you! And you're like, God damn it, Grandma! The nice thing is, an old person in VR can't damage the world anymore. So you keep them there forever. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's what you do. Next up, and I know this one so well. Oh yeah. Paris. <laughs> <laughs> cringy. So cringy. Cringy. Let's let's get more into it. Can cringe kill you? 
Absolutely. Uh, on So Random, for instance, I was on a Disney show. <laughs> A lot of audience members passed away <laughs> from the cringe. A lot of them are not around anymore. Uh, it's tough. <laughs> How do I know if I'm cringe? There is one way to find out. Yes, like so. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you can talk, if you're in the middle of a conversation, can you can just go, hey, excuse me, am I? Am, am I, I being cr cringe? Am I cringe? Yeah, and if you're too nervous, it's okay. Ask in a funny voice. So be like, am I being a little bit of cringe? <laughs> and they might be more inclined to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, this is our original cringe equation yeah. here. This is me, uh, roughly in high school, freshman year, uh, explaining the plot of The Matrix to <laughs> some girls that I thought were cool and that I thought they might think I'm cool for knowing that. Uh, <laughs> then we get to... Um, <laughs> Matrix Reloaded, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm still explaining that plot there, and we're just really delving up, yeah. and it's, the problem is I'm not stopping. And you and did not see that they were clearly walking away They from were you. leaving, and I, there I was in the hallway <laughs> acting out the Matrix. Yeah. Uh, it's tough. Moving on, uh, overcoming cringe. Luckily, there is treatment for it. And we'll see some of the treatments, uh, cringe therapy options. Uh, Cringe support animals. <coughs> the hamsters have an enzyme that actually soaks up cringe. Uh, this is why so many die. Uh, yeah. So yeah. early on, yeah. lobotomy works just great yeah. for Gen Z, apparently. Gen Z, big fan of lobotomies. Yeah, but that's working great. <laughs> and without further ado, uh, in closing, we wrote a song about this, and we will, we will sing, sing right it now. now. Oh. And we have, uh, oh. help, have help from a friend. Our musical guest. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Oh, we're we're all here. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. We're about to cringe. It's not the fringe. This is mainstream. No, it's the dream. Dream team here. Courtney and Shane, no one to blame but ourselves for what you're seeing. Feel the cringe. Feel the cringe. Starting here down to your feet. You have to deal with it. Don't you leave. You got to stay here. You can't go anywhere. Embrace it. Embrace it. Embrace it. Thank you. DJ Double Glasses, Selena, thank you. Do we have anything else? I think that's it. Um, questions from the audience? Anybody still oh. unresolved feelings? Yeah, any questions from the cringe? audience? Yes, you. I, I, I've written some songs as well, but now's not the time to show you. Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> Sounds like they have learned a valuable lesson from our lecture. I think we got our, uh, our best student here. Absolute best student. Uh, let us help you. Come to the Cringe Institute Mixer. Courtney, guess what's gonna be there? A deflated moon bounce, a fish with Barbie legs, and a baby mouse in a hand. That is exactly <laughs> what's gonna be there. No rhyme, no reason, no cringe. Uh, it will be exactly eight hours long. It is not catered. We have to figure out lunch together. <laughs> we, did, we did secure one porta potty. Thank you all so much for being here. Uh, I hope uh, I didn't see many cringing faces. I didn't, and yet. please don't clap. That's cringe. No, do not clap. Please do, do not, not clap. clap. Thank you. Or you can do that, I sure. guess. Sure. Thank you. Go ahead. Oh. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Um. <laughs> and Courtney, you know this one. Absolutely. <laughs> Everyone knows Nickelodeon and their adorable show, iCarly. You may recognize this guy. He was on an episode or two. <laughs> How would you have guessed that I was a Disney kid? <laughs> <laughs>